All right, um, AI Dungeon. It's been a hot minute since we have uh, popped into AI Dungeon. For those that don't know what AI Dungeon is, this is a uh, AI driven storyteller where we kind of set the scene for a, a fun, strange journey. Uh, and then an AI comes in and uh, basically tells us where things go wrong. So we, we get to pick a setting here. Ryan, thank you very much for the the tier one subscription much appreciated for charity thank you thank you uh let's let's hop into a custom world and uh i mean look we're gonna be we're gonna be alexa missy today we got some harris heller christmas lo-fi chilling in the background um let's enter a prompt about who i am and the first couple sentences of where we start out um so here's the story i am first thing i read in chat is i am a murderer <laughs> i am a elf i i am an elf who is working undercover for a secret new santa claus i am looking to overthrow the current santa claus through a secret obscure i'm struggling here chat i'm struggling here a secret i don't like secret through a under un, i'm I already said undercover through a I, I need to be as detailed as possible through a covert dark <laughs> incognito okay yeah we're, we're continuing here incognito what's that damn uh christmas movie uh that nobody thinks is a christmas movie but it takes place during christmas so we call it a christmas movie not coup. I mean, I suppose it's kind of a coup. Die Hard, that's the one. Die Hard style coup. There we go, man. Yo, Danny, thanks so much for gifting a sub to Dr. Coctopus. I really appreciated saying that. I'm looking to overthrow the current Santa Claus through a covert, dark, incognito, die hard style coup. Easy money. And then we'll just see where it takes us, man. I'm on a tight schedule and I need you to get me to the North Pole in a sleigh as fast as you can. Okay, what am I gonna do? Um, run to the shipyard where the sleighs are currently being prepped for the big day. Put it, put it in quotes, right? This is gonna result in me shotgunning Santa in the face, I can tell already. I'm running to the shipyard. You quickly run down the hallway trying to think of some kind of escape plan or some way to stop this mad elf. Wait a minute, I am the elf. All you can think of is that you're a wizard and maybe some magic will be useful. Okay, change of pace, change of pace. We're a wizard. We're a wizard. We're, we pulled back the, the lens a little bit. I'm a wizard who is on a different team watching the covert mission that the elf is doing to overthrow Santa Claus. Okay. You know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit more uh, in depth here. The story. I am a wizard working for uh, Chet, who <laughs> working for Doctor Coctopus, uh, attempting to stop the dark mad elf from taking over the role as the current. Santa Claus. Okay. That's good. That's good stuff. I have to save Christmas, then the light bulb goes off in your head. Wait, there's a shipyard not far from here, full of Christmas ships. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, slowly walk behind the dark mad elf. 
but not enough so that you are noticed. You are attempting to get on the same Christmas ship that the dark mad elf will. You have to, you gotta train the AI, right? Uh, we gotta keep kind of slapping in there that the, the dark mad elf so that the, the AI knows the dark mad elf. You are standing behind the dark elf waiting for the right time to strike. The dark elf is talking to another elf who is much bigger and burlier. Okay. Um, shine your staff. <laughs> okay. I'm phrasing. Um, and prepare for the future battle that will entail in about 25 minutes when we end the stream. Okay. Good. Dr. Coctopus raises his staff up to the heavens and uses the magical energies within to perform a protective charm. The spell is strong, but you are experienced in evocation. Sure. Apparently, Dr. Coctopus is with me. Um, wait patiently. Let's let the game figure out what to do. Um, I'm good with this. The big burly elf is walking away from the dark elf, seemingly <laughs> talking on his cell phone. This gives you the opening you need. That's exactly what we needed. Slip behind the wall, the the pillar, and watch the dark mad elf get on the Christmas ship. This is like some Star Wars BS, man. Yo, Sage. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the community for a little charity contribution thank you very much my dude you're about to, uh, you are almost to the ship when you hear the big burly elf that you were previously observing speaking harshly in a you want to try again ai <laughs> no, i'm not sure you got that one fully figured out you edge behind the pillar slowly moving closer as the dark elf continues his conversation story it is december 23rd the plan for the Dark Elf is to overthrow the current Santa Claus, whose name is actually Rick, and become the new Santa. Okay. As he continues his conversation, you see him step on board the ship. You see an opportunity and you act. Slide onto the ship unnoticed and hide behind a control panel of sorts. You gotta use the pin function for that? Yeah, whatever. You manage to clamber aboard the ship without being noticed. You are now in the nooks and crannies of the ship where you can't be seen. This is great. Okay. Reach into your pocket and pull out and now we see where the AI takes us, man. You pull out the elf stones and hold them out. Elf stones, you say in a low voice. The crewman on the phone looks around and then says, What's that? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, rub the elf stones. Please log in or create a, a free account to continue playing. You, you asshole. Fair enough. I understand. I didn't realize I was not logged in. I'm sorry, AI Dungeon. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. Very sorry. Allow me to log in real quick. Allow me to log in real quick. Bad ending. Bad ending. Oh, chat. You're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. The story has been destroyed. The elf stones have, <laughs> have gotten us. Well, this was sad. You know what? Um, That one wasn't going anywhere anyway. I'm, I'm not sure that one was going anywhere. Run it back. Run it back. Let, let's try again. 
Let's try again. Um, we're gonna do a, a new world. Uh, I definitely don't want to be in Britain. That's for damn certain. Uh, can we do... How the hell does this work, man? Popular scenarios? No, just hit the play button. Quick start. Custom world. Who are we? Okay. You know what? This calls this calls for new music. It's slapping too hard. That's the problem. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can tell this one's going to be good. I am a techno techno uh <laughs> I was about to say supremacist. That ain't right. I am a techno viking. Yeah, there you go. I'm a techno viking controlling the throne of an ancient civilization exceeding in the in the technical economy system also known as NFTs. Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start. Though in all likelihood I will not give them up, I will most certainly not let you steal them and you know it. So what do you do? Okay, steal the elf stones is a good start. I'm gonna tell you. First we steal the elf stones. Um, no, you will not steal from me. You're in a very bad position here. You've been caught red-handed trying to steal from me. I know you for what you are and you know I know. <laughs> you know that I know. You know I know that you know that I know. Um, steal his NFTs. Okay. Just cut cut right to the freaking chase, man. Cut cut right to the chase. You hit him over the head. Oh, sorry. Uh, he starts to get angry. He goes for his sword. Do you want to... Colon. You hit him over the head with your staff. He's out cold. Okay, I'm glad I made the right decision there. Um... Take the NFTs, take the NFT of the elf stones off of his body, and and we'll see where it takes me. But I, I got a direction to take us for sure. You look around to see if anybody is watching you. You don't see anyone. You're in a good position now. Say, I need to get to the 3D printer of Mordor to turn the NFT into the real elf stones okay how can you steal the nft though uh just right click it <laughs> you head to the mordor's secret passage you're in a big underground cavern there's a 3d printer in the next room uh how fortunate i would say how fortunate okay uh walk forward Noticing that there may be traps in the walls. You go to the 3D printer. You see a very pretty 3D printer. It's all sleek and fancy. It looks expensive. Do you want to, colon, you decide not to tempt fate? Uh, it likes taking my choices for me. Um, start sweating. Because he, he wants to use the 3D printer. He does. You begin to sweat profusely. Gods below. You continue sweating. Please, please, please. You are now a sobbing mess. Okay, okay. Um, The room is getting hotter and hotter. You see an opening up ahead. Do you want to? You go into the room. <laughs> wow, it feels much better in here, but I still need to convert the NFT of the elf stones into the real elf stones. Do you want to? You go into the room. You are in the middle of the underground cavern. You are in a circle. 
see a glimmering 3D printer far, far in the distance. Uh, pardon me, the music is, is bopping harder than it's ever bopped. You decide to go for it, you run to the 3D printer. You get there and you see that it says... Uh, don't... You see that it says... Don't care, plus didn't ask, plus ratio. How's the AI doing? Uh, mm, gonna not do that. Do you want to, colon, you hit enter. The 3D printer starts printing. The printing process is very long. You are starting to get anxious. Suddenly, dark, mad elves start grappling down from the cavern's tall ceiling. Stalagmites press against the low oxygen filled area. I don't know, sure. What happened to Dr. Coctopus? Uh, AI Dungeon killed us. You are just about to black out. The Dark Elves have surrounded the 3D printer. They have their swords raised and are about to kill you. The 3D... Oh, this is where I'm say. Sorry. The 3D printer beeps. It is done. I have the elf stones. Okay, we've converted the NFT chat. You see that there are small zip up pockets on the inside of the 3D printer. You have no idea what a 3D printer is, AI Dungeon. Okay. Grab the elf stones and suddenly energy courses through your veins. You feel power over the dark mad elves. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And they're gone. You put on the elf stones, you feel awesome. You look at the dark elves punching in front of you, you feel like you could punch a hole in one of them with a solid hit. Okay, I'm curious. Punch one. You punch one. If it says you put a hole through it, you move one dark elf to the side with a single blow, which also knocks the sword from his hand. He's stunned momentarily. You land several more blows before the dark elf is dead. Say, I'm a murderer. It's gonna get weird really fast. I can tell right now. You walk up to the dead elf, you kick him in the face, and then you see his 3D printer... Why are there so many 3D printers? <laughs> I think that's a good question. I mean, it's not like these things are crazy portable, man. You, you decide to look around for more. There's another one. You try to go to it, but it is surrounded by more dark elves. Say, uh, it's about the power we devour. Take what's ours. And then this is where you cue into, like, the Michael Bay action scene, man. You just... Okay. okay. Oh, uh, eh, eh, you know, yeah, I suppose. Sure, you decide to start eating the dead dark elf. His flesh tastes like metal. Um, you keep eating until there is no more, and the 3D printer finishes printing. We're, we're gonna just, like, retry that one. You attack again another 3D printer. You attack it, and it starts beeping loudly. Do you want to, colon, you attack it? Okay. Um, sure, we can work with this. I am not leaving until every 3D printer in this cave is destroyed. Okay. Should lead down a weird, weird path. You attack another dark elf whose attention is on you and your attacks. You punch the dark elf in the side of the head. You see that one of your attacks has hit the 3D printer. There's more where that came from. We're just going to keep letting the AI kind of take us on this one. 
you attack the dark elf who is attacking the 3D printer. You move in close and give the dark elf a blow with the end of your staff. You see that the 3D printer is broken. Use the elf stones to lift the 3D printer and throw it at another dark elf. You are carrying the 3D printer. You throw it and it hits one of the dark elves in the forehead. It explodes. Dark elves attack when you barely block and deflect their blows. Punch as many elves as you can. It's a strange sentence. Didn't think I'd type that today. You attack and attack and attack. You see that the dark elves are getting more and more agitated by your attacks. You are getting tired. You hear the roaring of large animals approaching. Okay, chat. You gotta... What, what large animal is approaching? I need your help. Hippo. I like it. Suddenly, 15 hippopotamuses charge... That's sharp. Charge into the cavern from seemingly nowhere. There must be a way out. They start clawing and gnawing on the elves. Do you run to the hippopotamuses? You jump in the air and yell. You land and start punching and... Okay, I mean, I, the do you makes no sense. You try again. This this was not good. They start clawing and gnawing on the elves. You are surrounded by hippopotamuses. They are much stronger and more dangerous than the elves. They pull you down and eat you. With your lasting breath, you swallow the elf stones in a hope they give you power. We ain't done yet, Chet. We ain't done yet. We still got the elf stones. You reach down and grab the elf stones. They feel cool and a tingling sensation runs through you. You hear the hippos getting closer and closer. Swallow the elf stones, goddammit. We need them. Suddenly, the hippos give a grunt and charge at you. You pull the elf stones out of your mouth. You see that they are glowing. Uh... Chat, what's like an anime sentence that would be you're about to charge energy out of your mouth towards uh, somebody? I need the most anime sentence you can come up with. Okay, yep, I like it. Kamaha miha. <laughs> you spit the elf stones out and they explode into a bluish green light in front of you. The hippopotamus stops dead in its tracks. The elf stones... Do, no, don't do the elf stones. Uh, throw the elf stones into the sky and you teleport to them. Kamaha <laughs> miha. You aim for the top of the nearest cavern wall and concentrate. You throw the elf stones to where you think the cavern's mouth is, and then you vanish. The hippopotamus charges into the darkness. You have the power of all five elf stones. You are near immortal. It looks like you have beaten the dark... Oh, a hippo crashes into the wall and falls on its side. It dies. Okay. It looks like you have beaten the dark elves. You walk over to them and look down at their corpses. Say, and your blockchain is next, asshole. Okay. Good. Very good. You look to the 3D printer and see that it's still printing... You're going to be late for your flight, so you pick it up and carry it with you. It's going to be hard to get that through uh, the luggage check, but sure. At this point, uh, walk out of the cave, and you find yourself uh, in LaGuardia.
We made it to our flight. What can I say? You exit the cave and look around. Dorado's in the distance. You see a sparrow fly past your head. You see a dog barking. Uh, we're in LaGuardia Airport, not Dorado, you dummy. You come out of the cave. You see the elf stone sitting on a stone seat. There is a staircase leading up to the other side of the room. An elf looks at you. He says... What does he say? Uh, he says... I mean, I think the only thing that he could say is uh, Kamahimahu or something like that. <laughs> Boarding pass, please. <laughs> you answer back in Elven, Kamahamiho. He says, you are the Elfstones, the Elfstones of the Elfstones of Power. <laughs> you answer in Elven, um, Kamahima. No, Himo Niho. <laughs> you are the elf stones? The elf stones of the elf stones of power? You, an <laughs> you answer in elven. Kamahi Neho Mai no Ho. He says. Kami na ho na. Mi ho ni ho mi ho. Niham, Miham, Niho. <laughs> in Elven, of course. You answer in Elven. Koma ho mai, no hi na mi ho mai, ni ho hi mi ho na mi ho. He says. Uh, no ma hi, no hi mo. Ma koma hino koma homa mo himo soho. You answer in Elvin no komo ne ho na mi ho na mi ho mai koma ne o ne ho ma no ho, he says. I respond with, uh, don't care, plus didn't ask, plus you're a dead elf. Okay. that That's a good way to end this conversation. <laughs> An average NFT discussion. <laughs> don't care, didn't ask, you're a dead elf. Okay. Um, is he just repeating everything I say? I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> we, I, we broke the AI, I think. Okay, um, stop repeating me. You stop repeating yourself and the elf stops repeating himself. You sit down on the elf stones of power and concentrate. You see a vision. A dark elf is looking at you. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, I really want to type, like, give the elf the finger? Like, stop looking at me? I mean, I might as well just say, stop looking at me? Dude, this elf is going to try and kill me. You tell the elf to stop looking at you. He does. You see the vision disappear. You smile. You are powerful. Okay. Um... LaGuardia is an airport near Dorado. Okay, that's that's important for the AI to know. Walk out of the cave, slowly chanting to yourself, Ha mi no, ho, koma mi no, ho mi na. Okay. You chant it over and over again and concentrate on it. Suddenly, the dark elf disappears. You turn around and see the dark elf stones. The dark elf elf stones have stopped glowing. He is gone. No. Try it again. You leave the elf stones of power and slowly begin chanting. You emerge from the elf stones of power. You see the elf stones of power sitting on a stone seat. Walk up to the seat and examine its core infrastructure. and position 
as a throne over the cavern. There is a pedestal made of rough hewn stone with a strange glowing core sitting on top of it. The elf stones of power sit on the top of this core. Okay. Place the elf stones of power onto the core. So yeah, we got four minutes to wrap this story up. The elf stones of power qu quickly melt into the core and begin to run through the elf stones of power's circuitry. You hear a few elven hymns begin to play. Music starts. Listen for the lyrics. Come on, AI. Come on. You you have this. I know you do. I know you do. You sing along to the elven music. You sing, A wail of sorrow escapes my lips. A river of sadness flows beneath my feet. And then it has to rhyme with that. So it's, Homie no ki no, Mami no he ti. Beautiful. Okay. Very good. Very good. The elven hunter gives a grunt. The elven hunter says, uh, why are you talking like a goddamn idiot? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. You answer, I'm not talking like a goddamn idiot. Hunter replies, uh, you are talking like a goddamn idiot. And then this goes for a little bit until we start doing the homie no kino again. Well, I'm not. The hunter replies, you are. Hunter answers, you answer. Uh, I answer, he answers. You gotta, you gotta do this. I answer, then he answers. Then we answer. Uh, amos, ais, on. And then you, you move on with your day. Yeah. This is, we, I'm breaking AI dungeon. Uh, ah, now I see. Okay. Amos, ice on answer. And he is on answer. I am not. Ah, now I see. <laughs> of course. Uh, it's honestly, just because I have no idea where the hell this is going to take it. You just hit it with an of course and you move on. Understandable. Have a great day. Yes. Then you must also be. Yes, I must also be. I am inevitable. <laughs> then you must also be. Yes, I must also be. I am inevitable. Inevitable, eh? Well, perhaps it is inevitable, but perhaps I am the inevitable solution to your inevitable problem. What's my problem? I love when AI Dungeon finds a word it likes, dude. Hunter replies, Hunter answers, what's your problem? I don't know. You don't know? No. Okay. Leave the room and this horrific conversation you have a plane to catch we we gotta get out of here man we gotta get out of here hunter turns and walks out the door you walk up to the elves and stop you walk up to the elves you walk up to the elves and stop you say goodbye elves look at you thank you elves I think of it a much. It's, it's a good joke. Uh, cause they're Elvis. Okay. Elves nod. You walk off into the sunset. You feel the elven hunter's grasp loosen. Has he just been like holding on to me this entire time? You you can let go of me now. I like to think that this man just has like a grip on my waist. Hunter's grip on your arm releases. Hunter nods. Hunter says, you may go. Hunter stands up. Hunter stands up and walks away. You walk away and walk to the plane. Get on the plane. Okay. You climb onto the plane. You take off. The plane flies away from the elven hunter. The plane crashes. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god. Please tap the response you'd like to keep. Uh, the plane crashes into the mountains. You feel yourself being torn apart. You scream. You scream until your lungs burn. You die. Or it crashes into the forest. The elven hunter runs out of... No, no frick the uh, elven hunter. We, we die. And then what happens next? Uh, you become reborn. 
using the elven el elf elf stones what the hell elf stones and live happily ever after in a techno viking cafe run by a large mythical norse half man half cougar no, not run by Hunter. I never want to see this guy ever again. You become a legend. And just like that, chat, we end the stream. Thank you guys so much for coming on out today. It's been a brilliant, brilliant uh, and fun stream tonight. Really appreciate all of you guys' uh, charity support and uh, just in general support being here today. We will be live this weekend, possibly twice, depending. Um, I have no idea quite yet, but uh, it should be should be an experience, that's for damn sure. I'm gonna send you on over to somebody, but I don't know who yet. Allow me to, uh, to see. We will send you over to Monsieur V.me. Uh, he's playing some dead cells. Go on over to him and ask him if he has the elf stones yet. V's always pretty good at giving us some good answers. Ask him if he's received the elf stones and what he plans to do with them. But first, ask him if he has them. And then, and then we can move on from there. That sounds good to me. All right, friends. Thanks so much for the fun times. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.